Good morning, class. What a refreshing day it is to learn and gain new knowledge. I am Teacher Joy, and I will be your teacher for today. Since Teacher Joel is not around, I will be his substitute for today. In this video, we will cover a lesson in business mathematics that everyone should know. But before we start our lesson, let us first exercise our brain in this activity called Four Picks One Word. Take a look at the following images and identify what it indicates. I'll give you 10 seconds to decode the picture. Your time starts now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up! If you decoded the pictures right, then you probably know now what our lesson would be all about. And it is commission. By the end of this video, you are expected to learn these competencies. To learn the different types of commissions, compute for the different types of commissions, and solve problems involving commissions. Let us first define commission. So, what is a commission? Commission is a fee paid to a person who makes a sale. The commission is usually a percentage of the selling price. The percent is called the commission rate. There are three different types of commission. Straight commission, salary plus commission, and graduated commission. Let's tackle first the straight commission. Straight commission is a type of commission where a person is paid a percentage of his or her sales only. Let's take a look at this example. Kareel works on a commission-only basis and receives 3% on her monthly sales without a base salary. What is her commission and total pay during a month when she sells 108,000 pesos worth of appliance? In this example, it is called a straight commission because the commission is straightly given to Kareel, the worker. The 3% commission is directly given to her without any salary because she works in a commission basis only. Prepare your pen and paper as we will now compute for Kareel's commission. So in the example, it is given that Kareel receives 3% commission on her monthly sales. During a month, Kareel sold 108,000 pesos worth of appliance. The thing you need to find is Kareel's commission and total pay during the month. Next, you need to know the formula in computing straight commission. The formula in computing commission is as follows. Commission equals sales amount multiplied to the commission rate. Now that you have the formula, you can now substitute the given to the formula. Kareel sales amounted to 108,000 pesos and then her commission rate is 3%. 108,000 pesos multiplied by 3% is 3,240 pesos. The product you obtain is the commission. Therefore, Kareel's commission for the month is 3,240 pesos. It's easy peasy, right? Let's move on to the second type of commission. The salary plus commission is a type of commission where a person gets paid a salary and a percentage of his or her sales. Let's take a look at this example. Mr. Cueva decides to work for ABX company that will pay him 3,500 pesos per week and 6% of any sales above 3,000 pesos. If he sold goods worth 5,000 pesos, what is his cross pay? In this example, you will notice that Mr. Cueva has a salary compared to Kareel from the first example who receives commission only. This type of commission is called salary plus commission because you have to add the salary and commission of the worker. In short, you have to find the gross pay of Mr. Cueva. Let's now solve for Mr. Cueva's gross pay. Mr. Cueva's salary is 3,500 per week and his commission is 6% of any sales above 3,000 pesos. Sales amount is 5,000 pesos. The problem being asked in the given is Mr. Cueva's gross pay. To solve for the gross pay, you need to identify the commission first by multiplying the sales amount to the commission rate. Gross pay equals commission rate multiplied by sales plus salary. 
substitute the given to the formula then solve. Multiply 0.06 to 2000 pesos. Why 2000 pesos? Because it is the amount above 3000 pesos of Mr. Cueva's 5000 pesos sales. 5000 minus 3000 is 2000 pesos. Now that you have obtained the commission, let's add it up to the salary. 120 pesos plus 3,500 pesos is 3,620 pesos. Therefore, Mr. Cuevas' gross pay is 3,620 pesos. Let's now have the third and last type of commission. The third and last type of commission, the graduated commission. Graduated commission is a type of commission where the percentage changes based on how much someone sells. Let's take a look at this example. Mary has a monthly commission plan where she receives 2.5% on the first 100,000 pesos of sales during the month and 35 on the sales above 100,000 pesos. If her total sales during the month is 150,000 pesos, compute for the commission. In this type of commission, it is called graduated because it has a structure that gradually increases as the worker sells more. In short, the more a salesperson sells, the more is the ability to earn better commission rates. Observe the table shown. How did we arrive at a total commission of 4,250 pesos? Let's break it down. From the given example, it is said that Mary receives 2.5% commission on her first 100,000 pesos of sales during a month. Moreover, if there is an excess above 100,000 pesos, she will be given 3.5% of it. Her total sales during the month was 150,000 pesos. What is Mary's excess above 100,000 pesos? It's 50,000 pesos. So the first thing we're gonna do is to know her excess and separate it from her normal commission plan of 100,000 pesos. 150,000 minus 100,000 is 50,000 pesos. Simple as that. We just simply multiply the sales amount and commission rate. So 100,000 pesos multiplied to 2.5% is 2,500 pesos. 2,500 pesos is Mary's commission on her first 100,000 pesos of sales. Let's now solve for Mary's commission on her excess sales. You will notice that the commission rate increased. As I've said earlier, the commission rate increases as the person makes more sales. So 50,000 pesos multiplied to 3.5% is 1,750 pesos. 1,750 pesos is Mary's commission above her 100,000 pesos of sales. Did we already arrive at the final answer? Should we stop here? Not, right? We should now combine Mary's commissions to know her total commission. We just simply add 2,500 pesos and 1,750 pesos, then we will get 4,250 pesos. Therefore, Mary's commission for her total sales of 150,000 pesos is 4,250 pesos. Do you have questions? Clarifications? If you do, just comment down your concerns in this video and Teacher Jelly will thoroughly answer your questions. That's it! Thank you for listening, class. I hope you have learned something today. For more lessons in business mathematics, please do like this video, follow, and subscribe Teacher Joel's YouTube channel. Thank you and bye-bye! Bye! <laughs> <laughs>